the task of a vegetarian society is to promote vegetarian diets or vegan diets. And as far as health is concerned, this is probably the most important step any person can take to improve his health. On the other hand, we do have organic food. And the organic food is the better choice if you have the possibility to do this. And whether a vegetarian society will promote organic food is a decision it has to take. But I think since it also serves for health and not only for the environment, I think it is good for vegetarian societies to also say, go vegetarian, but in addition, if you can, do eat organic food. Since animals, in, as a rule, eat plant food, they will accumulate more pesticides and residues of insecticides. Uh, and so the people that do eat meat and meat products will get a more concentrated amount of these pesticides than people that only eat plant food. I think with, with these two um, sentences, the essence has been said. And of course, one could elaborate now uh, on the one or the other aspect, how important it is if you do eat organic food, whether you are vegetarian or not, because it's good for the environment. And I think many studies have shown that indeed the difference in the health value of organic food is not dramatic. It's a little bit better, but the main uh, benefit of organic food is that you do not take up pesticides and that the environment is not damaged. I think that's the, that's the message. So uh, whether a person decides the priority is vegetarian or the priority is organic food um, is a matter of personal priority. Uh, coming back to the question what a vegetarian society should do. I think, obviously, a vegetarian society has to promote vegetarian food. And if possible, to convince its members to say, if you can, do go organic. This has been known for a long time, that there are differences in the organic food. And the original organic foods, like the biodynamic uh, method, is indeed more consequent and it's if you want to uh, talk in terms of good or better it certainly is better and i do see that nowadays you find organic food in supermarkets that come from all over the world it comes from africa it comes from mediterranean countries some of it comes from china and i'm quite sure and some of the investigations show that it is not quite the same quality as these old establishments that are in the market not necessarily only to make money, but because they are convinced of it. That's their own lives. They want to do it for uh, their farmland, for their children. Uh, so their interest is not only money. They have other interests. And uh, that, uh, for that reason, it is not surprising that that is even a better quality. That's a, a difficult question to say, uh, how do you... Well, the, uh, the consumer has no way of saying it is better than something else. But uh, in the analytic, it is usually the amount of pesticides that you find, whether it's organic or not. That's the main uh, criterion. Of course, there have been many studies to compare organic food with conventional food. And if you look only at the health value, then you can say you may have a little bit more vitamins, maybe a little bit more minerals, sometimes uh, some more dietary fibers, and in most cases, more phytochemicals. But the differences are not huge, but they are there. And uh, some people that do organic food for health reasons are disappointed because they expect it to be much better. But in fact, the main value of organic food is for the environment.
and not for our health. Like in any other system, whenever humans are involved, uh, there are some people that uh, misuse the system and declare products as organic, and in reality they are not. And uh, sometimes the food control finds out about it, but they cannot control every item that goes into the market. So they can uh, investigate or control uh, at certain points. And so I'm, I'm sure there's some uh, food that is declared as being organic and in reality this is not. But I think it's, it's more the exception. Most people that are in this organic business uh, do the best they can. And uh, the impression that uh, the consumer will get uh, is that maybe there is more um, misdoings in, in this area because you never see in the media if everybody is doing everything right. But as soon as somebody makes a mistake, it will be in the media. So the impression is maybe there's a lot of, there are a lot of things that are going wrong. But I, it's my opinion, I think this is rather the exception. Well, I think we have this already in the way that uh, people that are really serious about organic food, they don't go in the supermarket and buy food that is declared organic. They go to these, at least in Germany, they go to these old established um, institutions like Biodynamic, like Bioland and there's some others. And there you can be almost 100% sure you get organic food in the best quality. When you talk about organic food, of course you mean not only plant foods, but also food derived from animals. That means meat, fish, eggs, milk, milk products. Uh, because this is a system of organic farming where you have not only uh, plants, but also animal. It is a mixture of these two that make organic farming actually what it used to be at the beginning when it was started. Nowadays you find some farmers that produce only plant foods or only uh, animal products. But indeed, if you think of the circular uh, system that is part of the organic farming, then actually it's necessary not to have only plants, but also to have animals. And this is the reason why some people feel um, they should not uh, become vegans to support this particular type of uh, organic farming. Because if you have animals, then you'll have eggs and you'll have uh, milk and also some meat.